I always ask myself this question, like, why do I do what I do? And it always reminds me of the time when I was in Sarnia and I got bullied for the way I looked and the way I talked. And to escape the people that were bullying me, I used to actually run behind a school wall, sit there and write in my diary. And the only way I was able to express myself was through arts, made be fashion, dance or acting. And because I had no friends, the only way I was able to be social was to spend a lot of time volunteering and working with charity organizations. Hi, my name is Shreya Patel. I'm a visual storyteller, a mental health advocate, and a human rights activist. I was born in India, I grew up in the Middle East, and I moved to Sarnia, Ontario, Canada at the age of 11. Even though art was my way of escaping the isolation that I faced in school, it was always kind of part of me. I kind of wanted to be in fashion since I was five years old, and that's what I chose to do because I wanted to prove myself that I can do what I wanted to do even though I got bullied and told I was, I was, I'll never be able to make it. My parents were not comfortable with me choosing a career in acting at the time. That's why I chose to be a model. So right after high school, I decided to pursue my career in modeling, which gave me the opportunity to travel worldwide with it. I got the opportunity to work with Vogue India, Gracia, Dubai Fashion Week, to name a few. So while I was in India, I also decided to volunteer my time with some of the organizations there. And one of the organizations asked me to go to one of the government hospitals to spend some time with the kids there. While I got there, I saw that there were parents waiting outside with their kids for eight days straight, waiting to be treated. And it kind of broke my heart because I was like, what am I doing with my life? Like people are so busy gossiping or looking at celebrity news. No one cares about what is happening around the world. And it kind of hit me that I kind of wanted to give voice to the voiceless. So I decided to come back to Canada and pursue my career in documentary and film. I went back to school for it and I made my first documentary, which is called Girl Up, which sheds light on human trafficking in Toronto. I was very lucky enough to get the kind of response that I did when it was shown at different community screening for educational purposes. The kind of response that we got was people were coming up to us and crying and hugging and telling us thank you for shedding light on this important topic. Um, and I was also lucky enough for Toronto International Film Festival to take notice of it by reading one of the reviews and partnering with it and getting it showcased at the Civic Action Summit. Where a bunch of civic action leaders like national security and social workers came together, watched the documentary and spent time talking about how to combat this issue. Because of my documentary Girl Up, I had the opportunity to be invited to the U35 Women's Forum at the Assembly of Ontario, where I had the opportunity to voice my opinion on things that matter to me, and not just about human trafficking, but also mental health advocacy. What about the conversation with kids and youth? You and I were speaking a bit off camera. That's something that also has your interest right now. Yes, because conversation about mental health is barely talked about in the youth, in kids especially. So by pay, like I want to pay it forward by starting this initiative called Reinvent, mm -hmm. where I'm working with kids you know, who have had any kind of traumatic experiences or a challenging past and work with them to express themselves creatively through art. Either it's like through confidence classes, through like dance, you know, art, any kind of thing like that. Mm -hmm. And talk about like uh, topics like mental health, body image and bullying. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. And we certainly appreciate you taking the time to come in and share your story today. Thanks, Thank Shreya. you so much. I'm starting this initiative to hold space for kids so they understand that they're not going through this alone. And the challenges is not what defines them. I want to host confidence building workshop for these kids, maybe through runway classes, improv or dance. Booty is a skincare line that is based out of Beverly Hills, but anyone around the world can order it. Any of the purchases that are made on the website, part of the proceeds is going to go to my initiative event. To the journey that I've had in my life, the one thing that I've taken away is to never give up on your dreams no matter what other people are projecting onto you. Cut the noise, follow your passion, and once you make it, make sure that you paid forward to someone else.